on, dickweeds! That's better. Hey. Fucking right. Bloop. Um. Today's Friday. Friday the thirteenth. It's a day that's supposed to be full of bad luck. Hey. Right? Have you any had uh? Back. Hey. Right? Um. Did you have any bad luck today? No. <laughs> I didn't have no bad luck today either. I actually had some good luck today. Me too. Yeah, it's been a good day. Nothing you guys be interested in, but, you know, I had a decent, what do you call that when you nap, when you're sitting up? <laughs> a sit-up nap? A sit-up nap. I had a good sit-up nap this afternoon. <laughs> Felt great. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were doing when I came in? I was trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were. Okay. It's fucking cold out today. It's very cold. It's very cold. It's like minus, minus, minus 24. It was like that during the day. It's not that anymore it's it's worse it's worse now it's supposed to like go down to like minus 35 overnight too. minus 35 that's fucking cold that's fucking cold i'm not really not really enjoying it enjoying it you should if maybe if you, you live should, in the maybe area if you live in the area and your car is and like, your car not, is like, like not, new, not new then plug it in then plug it in and like, don't be and walking like, don't around. Be walking around. The, radio station the radio station says, says that, that um, living, um, space living space will be open. Will be open. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, like, if you need uh, a place, if you need a place, <laughs> just stay. Yeah, like out of the cold. Like uh, out of the cold. <laughs> okay, so that's how cold it is, Oot. Most of you cocksuckers probably already know this. Lisa Marie Presley died. Yep. Some people, some people say it's due to alcohol and drug abuse. Others are saying it has to do with that uh, vaccine. You know how people are like dropping. Oh, is that what they're saying? Some people are saying. I don't know about if they're saying it. But some people are saying. I only it's, heard this thing about the alcohol abuse because her son committed one of uh, yeah. was like one of, one of her sons committed suicide like uh, a couple of years ago. Yeah, and she's been thinking it hard. So anyway, there's a lot of rumors right now to what caused her her heart attack. Then, what caused her to go into cardiac arrest? Right, Donna. Yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Food bank, Dick. It wasn't the food bag dick. I just told you put food bag. Okay, well, the dick part is... Uh, just tell the fucking story. 
Okay, I went to... Half the show goes with you fucking... <coughs> goes half through, my ass. Yeah, half the show goes to <coughs> talking about shit that don't matter. Listen, do you want me to tell you a story? Tell yeah. a story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I went to Independent this morning to get paper towel. You're Independent Grocer, for those of you that don't know what Independent is. Uh, and uh, I got paper towel and... What else? Oh, some water. And uh, some Vim. <laughs> So, anyways, I am. Yeah. <laughs> so they're making like some changes in at that store. Like they're putting like an aisle dedicated to discounted shit and whatever, right? At your independent grocery. Yeah. The we're in Timmins, Ontario. For those of you that didn't know that, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> so uh, the fucking odor, like the new odor, that cocksucker standing at the front with this other fucking sucker lady okay and they're going through like discounted shit and the food bank guy comes you know like people I don't know how it is in like America or anywhere else but uh, they put together like these bags for the food bank and you pay I don't know if it's still ten dollars or not but it's ten dollars and that bag specifically goes the guy from the food bank comes and picks them up along with other shit okay so the guy's in there this morning, and I'm at you scan, and I'm... So that's how that works with all those big brown bags at the front of the store? Yeah. I always wondered how the fuck they uh, got, Mine... got to the bums. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know about all... I... I'm just going to say it, okay? Because I used to work there, and what goes... In, like, okay, if you were a store owner, okay? Honestly, just... You have to tell me this, honestly. And it was, you're charging $10, well, it's $10 and it, the bag goes directly to the food bank, okay? So what would you put in that food bank box? Okay? Oh, I, I don't know. Would you be a little bit generous or would you be like, uh, because what they put in there... Well, for, I think I'd be, like, pretty generous because it's going to the food bank, They put but in I don't know. the fucking price, every, every, what's in there is to equal $10. No more, it's $10. No going over. No, so like it's like you know. Anyways, so the guy's there getting his fucking the food bank shit, right? Yeah. And the fucking cocksucking manager, right? The cocksucking fucking I was manager. So disgusted in the way he treated the food bank guy, right? And it, like the guy's probably been doing it for like ever or something because he's still doing it, right? You know the guy that drives the food bank truck. I don't you know. ever see the food bank truck? I seen the truck, but I never. I don't know who okay. drives it. He says to the guy, there's uh, there's some more bags or there's something still, right? And the guy had usually, he brings in a grocery cart and just puts the stuff in it, right? And the guy looks at him, like, acknowledges, yeah, okay, he says. And the manager looks at him, right, with this fucking, like, rude as fuck look on his face. He's like, well, aren't you going to go and get it? Like, you know, I, you know, I'm the boss and you're going to listen to me. And the fucking guy, like... Turned back and looked at him. I even I was looking at the manager like you ignorant cocksucker. Like, so the guy said, "You ignorant son of a I'll, fuck." I'll be back. I you know he didn't have enough room in his fucking cart, right? And the and the manager is just standing there looking at him like a piece of sit, shit, right? A you, piece of sit. Shit. <laughs> you know what you said? A piece <laughs> of sit. <laughs> I. You're the piece of shit for fucking treating people like that. I would Yeah, you're the piece of shit. I like, you know what? If I was fucking working there, I would just quit because the way, the type of fucking person you are, you fucking ignorant cocksucker. That really makes you me You ignorant mad. cocksucker. You piece of shit. They just raise the fucking... You son of a whore. They're greedy <laughs> over there. You're greedy. The fucking paper towel was five ninety nine dollars all along. Now it's what 7 What paper towel? Where we go? Whoa. Is this a new story? No, this is the paper towel that I bought from Independent. I've been buying it for a long, long time. Always five ninety nine. Right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Now seven ninety nine. Went up two fucking bucks. I have a fucking PC Optimum card, right? Uh, so I got it for five ninety nine. But if you don't have that, or if it's not on, if it's not on sale, seven fucking ninety nine. Seven fucking ninety nine. Where is the two dollar fucking profit going into? I know, Mister fucking ignorant cocksucker. It's going into Mr. Ignorant Cocksucker. His pocket. His pocket. I fucking hate people like that. Fucking hate them. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Donna didn't feel like cooking supper tonight. She said, I'll go bow something. Yeah. I should have cooked supper. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> she ended up going to the subway, and she got a meatball sub and an assorted sub. <coughs> had a coupon. <coughs> yeah, she had a coupon. <coughs> so, we got two subs and we split them. And while I was eating my sub, Donna was telling me some stories about what happened when she was at the subway. And we figured, okay, well, mm. it sounds like shit that everybody on the channel, everybody that watches the show should hear about. Hear, hear about, yeah. So here's Donna's experience at Subway today. Okay, I get there. I pull, this is like, you know, the experience is going to be bad when this happens, okay? So I pull into the fucking Subway. I pull in like this and like this. There's a red truck behind me. That guy has to pull right up to the doors. As I'm getting out, the guy fucking is looking to see where I am. You know, he has to take these great big strides in the fucking thing. So we get in there. So there's, uh, I want to say these young adults, maybe 19 to 20-ish, were at the counter. Then there was a lady over at the part where, like, the the, the bread part is, the first making of the sand, like, where that, where that happens. The guy that fucking beat me into the store and me so the fucking the the young adults are mad because there was only one subway employer right and she was busy like she was there, there was nothing wrong with what she was doing okay they just they just felt entitled and they should be just fucking you know served you know with you know you know anyways even though the shit was in the fucking oven their shit was cooking. And and the girl, like, they're getting fucking mad, right? Because, like, the... They want the girl to make the fucking oven work yeah. faster. She can't do that. So she comes over after the shit. While she's waiting for the stuff, she goes in the back and she grabs uh, some more, like, whatever it was that she needed for whatever it was. Like, some type of meat or whatever it was from the back, okay? Yeah. And, the, and the, I hear the girl say, talking about the fucking... You know what she's gonna pay for this right and they're they're just mad we're all we're gonna we're not we're gonna be eating at this other fucking place later and all. so anyways so the fucking girl puts in the 29 dollars and maybe 15 cents i want to say okay that's what their two subs two fucking subs came to okay how much 29 dollars and 15 cents Fuck! hey they should have used a coupon like us <laughs> <coughs> fucking dummies <laughs> so a lot of people have like on their uh, iPhones. I don't know. Maybe it's all cell phones. I don't know. The Apple Pay. <coughs> Apple Pay. <coughs> maybe it's just Apple because it's Apple Pay. You know how you could put your card on there. I don't use mine like that. Neither do I. But you know how some you see some people. Well, I see some phone. people do it. Yeah, but I don't know anything about it. So they do it right, but they do it so quick. And the girl was busy because there was another lady standing at the thing. She was getting ready to make her stuff. So I'm, I'm just watching, right? And they walk out the door, the girl, <laughs> giggling, right? And so then the lady orders her stuff, right? And the guy in front of me, he goes up there. And then the fucking employee at the subway, right? The, the little East Indian girl. She goes over to her fucking cash and she looks like she, like she doesn't know what to do because the fucking young adults, right? The young cocksuckers. They didn't pay for their subs. They ripped her off. Yeah, and she looked so, like, she did not know what to do. She even, she said to the lady, uh, can you just give me a second? They they did not pay. And and the lady, okay, honestly, she said, you know what? You're busy. I will pay for it. She, that's what she said. So I another will. lady was willing to pay for them, and, little, and, for them cocksuckers subs. And the, and the... The East Indian says, no, 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 no. And the lady says, no, I'll pay for it. You're, you are busy. You're by yourself. I'll pay for it. So the East Indian says, okay, you know what? I'm not charging you for your son. You know, God, that would be kind of greasy. I eh? hear I'm going <laughs> to charge you still. Anyways. So the lady goes and pays for the $29, right? Leaves. The guy in front of me gets his little fucking wrap and leaves. So then, right, as I tell the girl what I want, the two subs, yeah. there's this big fucking, I, fuck, this lady comes, first a little, okay, so there's about a seven or eight year old kid, one of those little pudgy kids, you know. Here's where the story gets good. 
Well, I don't know, but, I don't know it's not good, good, but, but it, this was, oh my God. <coughs> so this it sounds was, like I wish I was there. This, this, <laughs> yeah, if you were there, I would, I don't know. When they say just mind your business, right? I was at the point that you're making it my business, and if I felt like that, it would have been already Ed's business, okay? <laughs> 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 okay, tell your story. Okay, so this little pudgy seven or eight year old boy comes in, right? And he's all smiling, right? And and then the, the sister comes in. She's a little bit older, right? And and then the mother comes in. And then it's one of those, I say those mothers because there's a bunch of mothers like this out there. They, everything's about them. They're a bigger size they always wear jeans they always have their fucking earphones in they think they're the cat's ass and they gotta embarrass the fuck out of their kids so she goes over to the counter okay the east indian uh employee says to her um you're gonna have to wait five minutes because she was maybe it was bread or something she she told her and she said to the lady, you can just sit down over there, which made sense, right? Because I can't serve you anyways. You don't fucking tell me what to do, <laughs> she says. And I'm, I'm just standing there, right? And I'm like, and my head's kind of down like this, right? But I'm, I'm listening, okay? And I'm thinking like, holy fuck, like, you know, so the, all of a sudden, you know, like kids, you know, like the, you know, we had, when we had our kids went to a fucking restaurant for whatever reason, right? was so exciting to use a fucking bathroom at a restaurant right you know like it just some kids are like that so the fucking little boy is giggling away this pudgy little kid right and he wants to use the fucking bathroom right and so they have to use the woman's bathroom right and, and they can't find the fuck the boy can't find the light so why, can, why is he got to use the woman's bathroom because the man's bathroom was closed oh it's Uda order i guess so like <laughs> the door was locked i Anyway, none of the kids end up using the fucking bathroom, right? And then this fucking lady has to go out of her fucking way and start... I don't even know what she... Get the fuck over here, she says. <laughs> the kids couldn't get Sounds any... Sounds like my old stepmother. <laughs> and I, I'm, like, I'm standing there. My former there, stepmother was a cunt like that. And uh, I'm thinking, like, fuck, hurry up with my fucking assorted sub. Like, get it over to me type of thing, right? Like... Because the meatball was in the oven. So I hear, the, you know, the beeper, right? And the lady, and then the East Indian girl, she comes back out of, she had uh, something for him to fucking, like, uh, you know, how lettuce comes in the bags over there, like that, whatever it was, right? And then I hear, Rebecca Remy, Remy, uh, Marie, get the- What did you say, Rebecca Remy? Get, <laughs> get the fuck over here, she says. What the fuck do you want? When I get on the fucking 101, I'm driving the 101 and I'm going home. Like, and she's yelling at these kids. 101, so they're, they're from yeah. South Port Yeah, Japan. yeah. So I, I'm, and, <laughs> and she said, uh, the little girl asks for something, right? She says, I'm not fucking paying extra for you, she says. She says, I'll, I'll put you in the fucking car right now, the both of you, and we'll just go home. Like, and she's, I'm, these kids' fucking faces, they weren't even <laughs> smiling anymore, Okay. I was at the fucking point when I looked over at the first time, right? From the back, and I'm not, this is the way she looked. Like the fucking, uh, you know, off the Ghostbusters, the big marshmallow man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like that. That's the way her jeans fucking looked, okay? I'm not shaming anybody. That's how she looked. And she's, she's standing there, you know, like she went out and earned this money. You didn't fucking earn this money. You got fucking a government fucking check, okay? Because you don't fucking work. No, these poor fucking kids' faces, none of, they weren't smiling anymore. The fucking, they're looking at the, there was me and there was an older lady, but I was, like, I was close to the fucking going, the, like, the exit door, right? I was close, right, to that. There was, like, she was pissing me off that I was going to say something, because I could have made a run for it, right, before she even got there, because she was a little bit, but I didn't, I didn't bother, but who the fuck does that? I fucking hate ladies that do that. You don't need to talk to your, they weren't doing nothing. You can give your kids shit, like, say, whatever, whatever. But don't start that. get the fuck, I'm not fucking paying. Like, oh, you don't have a fucking dollar for her? Really? <laughs> you don't have a fucking dollar for her to get something fucking extra. <laughs> you know, if I was, like, if you were there, I would have fucking, you know what I would have said? Just fucking add the dollar on my fucking bill and get her something. It's not like you couldn't afford it. Oh, 
fucking yell at your kids like that and embarrass them. Fuck this, fuck that. Put it, no, fuck this. Get the fuck over here. Like, <laughs> holy fuck. <laughs> huh. <laughs> that sounds like a fucking... A family fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> family fucking fun. <laughs> I find the... <laughs> You know, why you gotta do that? I've never, we have never, ever, never, I I don't know, I only know those bigger ladies to do it. You know, they gotta make a fucking scene. Karens. They gotta make a fucking scene. You didn't even, you didn't need to talk to the employee like that. She was just saying it's gonna be five minutes. You can go sit down over there. She, you know, don't fucking tell me what to fucking do. Like, holy fuck, maybe you should have just fucking stayed home. Okay, um... Shooting Elm Street South. Parent, well, there was a shooting. There wasn't a parent. There was a shooting on the other side of Elm, on Elm Street South. Uh, the guy, well, he's alive. He's not like he's dead or anything, right? He's still, like, in the hospital. They have no idea... Who shot the guy? Obviously, the guy know. Like, if somebody shot you, you would know who fucking shot you, right? If you were in the 80, house... Eighty percent chance you know the person. Well, apparently, the police, <laughs> I realized it was one of those stray bullets. I don't know. The police don't know who shot the guy. They're still looking for the suspect. Bull fucking shit. Bull fucking shit. You know, and then people, okay, so that is happening, right? And But then people are like, well, how, what happened over on Birch Street last night, Birch Street North, right? Because there was like, they said there was like seven cop cars, there was an ambulance over there, but that's, nothing's being said. And apparently, like, they say that the cops, like, 80% of the time do not even bother, like, saying anything what's going on here. I wouldn't, I, I see people that are saying, oh yeah, relocating from Hamilton, coming from, Tro don't fucking come here, turn around and go back. Yeah, turn around and go back. It's fucking, Get the fuck it, out of here before it's too late. It's, <laughs> it's bad. It's, it's bad. There's a little bit of trouble today with Donna's rental for Monday. Well, it's all cleared up now, but not originally. Okay, so. So as you know, her car is going in to get fixed on Monday. Yeah. Yeah, and take it from there. Okay, so. You got to start on a story off, or you guys wouldn't know. <laughs> no, I was saying. You wouldn't said, know about the car getting repaired. I was. I had something I had to do today, so when <laughs> I I came back, Ed told me that the the lady from the body place called to let him know that there was no rental available for Monday. It would be on Tuesday. So would you like to have your appointment switched till Tuesday? Call her back and let her know. It's closed by 12, so that's what she said. Well, <laughs> be you know, if it they closed by 12 p.m. for fuck's sakes. Yeah, on a Friday. <laughs> so now you know why the car is going to take 10 days. <laughs> anyway, it only open for two or three hours a day. And then Ed said, told me that the car rental place called. So yeah, they called only uh, fuck twenty minutes later. So uh, I called the car rental place back to find out what's going on. Like I didn't understand why the body shop was making these arrangements, right? Because. <laughs> That's not your, I didn't ask you to do this. I, since when do you do it? So I call the car rental place and uh, the guy says to me, they, the, the insurance company called and let them know and they booked the insurance company. You know, they called, that's their job. And they had, uh, had booked the car in for, for Monday for the rental for us. Yeah. But then the fucking body shop goes right ahead and fucking decides they're going to fucking make a, a call too, right? So he says, well, the insurance company reserved for Monday, but the name of the body shop that is doing the car, right, had reserved for Tuesday. Uh, the guy, I don't understood either why a body shop would be calling to make a fucking arrangement for your car rental. Like... 
anyways, so I said, cancel. I said, I'll take the car on Monday if there's a rental. He said, yeah, there is. I said, cancel the one on Tuesday. I think she was just get, trying to get you to the, the work for Monday. Well, I don't fucking care. I didn't call you back, so I'm just. So it to... sounded like, you know. That's not That's not the way. We can't get you a rental for Monday, so but if you want to cancel your appointment till Tuesday, call me back and let me know, and we can do that, she said. Yeah, but the, who would. We've been waiting since fucking. Uh, originally since June of last year for this. Yeah. I'm not waiting anymore just because there's a, not a rental. I mean, the rental could... I would have been fine with waiting until the next day, you know? like My it's, nose running again? No. Sure it, fucking feels like As it. long as I had a ride back from the it's fucking place. It's so cold place. around here. Eh? Huh? A ride back? As long as I had a ride back here, I could have picked up the rental on Tuesday. They don't stop doing the work just because of a fucking rental. Yeah. We want the work done. Yeah. I just fixed the fucking car door. And the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> so that happened. <clears throat> fixed now. Yeah, that, that happened. And that's all I got. I don't got anything else, Donna. That is all the notes. Today's Friday. We don't get very many views on Fridays, so, you know. Hope those views that we're watching or are watching are okay. What? I don't know. Yeah, we hope you're okay. With the show. <laughs> we just hope you weren't bored. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, that lady, man. I wish I was just... See, I would have... To... I would... You know, and I did ask Ed, hey, do you want to come with me? And because, like, uh, you know... You know, like, how I've been telling you, Ed's been, like, getting on my nerves a little, right? <laughs> Not really. He's like just like he. Donna's been getting on my fucking nerves. It's like he's a like a, you know, like a wasp. Every once in a while, he comes in and zzz, like that, like does something to piss me off. Like, <laughs> well, anyways, I should have took if you would have came. Every once in a while, I come in and sting her. Right in the ham wallet. Daddy. Hey. No, that lady. I, I can't say what I told Ed what I thought needed to be done to her, but um, that that lady know has to know what it like. It, she doesn't have to. <laughs> she she has to know what it's like. She can't be getting away with this shit. <laughs> like somebody needs to do it to her and embarrass her like that. That's how I feel. I think that she needs a taste of her own medicine and. And Donna wants to be the doctor to serve it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get in my road toke, and uh, Donna here is gonna throw you guys some final words, or keep talking about what she's talking about. And that's how I—it's getting me angry. It's getting you angry. Yeah. I need a paper towel. Oh. You use them all. Use your sleeve like you usually do. Fuck off! I don't use my sleeve. I use yours. <laughs> Sometimes there's like hardened snot on it. You're so full of shit. I'm just kidding. Ed's clean. If anybody's sleeve around here is rotten. Ed's a clean guy. Donna's a dirty person. Except when I eat eggs. Except for when I eat eggs. When you eat eggs. Yeah. Donna's dirty all the time. I'm not. I'm clean. She's never clean. Yes. Yes, I am. She's one of those. She's she, she's one of those types of people. She uses the can and wipes one time. That's fucking gross. <laughs> she's a one wiper. And she wipes back to front. <laughs> You're dirty That's how like you that. You wipe back to front. You wipe back to front. The back of your sack's all crusty. <laughs> <coughs> okay, Donna, get in your final words. Stay happy, stay safe, be kind, enjoy your Saturday night, and have a good night, and see you tomorrow. We'll be here tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Enjoy your Saturday night tomorrow. But for tonight, enjoy your Friday oh. night. <laughs>
I don't know what the fuck day you don't. Why do you think it's Saturday? Because it feels like Saturday. You're telling them to enjoy their Saturday night. It's Friday the 13th. Enjoy your Saturday. <laughs> I'm tired. I've been up since fucking five to six when Edwin did business. When I went and did business. No, I woke up when I woke up because Donna did business. She, no, po she poisoned the fucking air. No, I was... That's not what happened. That's what happened. No. I had to leave the upstairs. <laughs> You're a pig. No, I'm not. not Those fucking egg rolls she was eating yesterday. No, that's an egg. <laughs> no. Smell like old rotted dog and cat. <laughs> I was in bed. No, you went back to bed. No, I was in bed. She takes a large shit. Great big fucking motherfucker. <laughs> four o'clock in the morning, she goes Ew. crawling back in the bed. I didn't take a shit at four o'clock in the morning. Bare ass. Okay, that's fucking gross. <laughs> that is fucking... Sheet sticking to her. That is one thing... <laughs> I would be so mad if Ed fucking took his shit and came back to bed with nothing on. That is not going to happen. We're talking about you, Donald. That doesn't happen. Nobody should ever go back into their bed with after taking a shit with nothing on. That's <laughs> <laughs> what Donna does all the time. No, fuck. Your sheets have to be clean, for fuck's sakes. we got to throw ours out every once in a while. No, yeah, because Ed <laughs> fucking dime-sizes it. dime size. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, cigarette holder to everybody. We are oot. We are oot. Donna's got to go burn the sheets. <laughs> They're ready to light themselves on fire. That's gross. If people do that, that's fucking gross. You know. Did you ever do that? Yeah, I, I, yeah. When you lived by yourself before yeah, me? Yeah, I used to sleep bare ass all the time. <laughs> after taking a shit. Did you know anybody like that? How would I know what people do? I don't know what Maybe people do. Maybe you were sleeping at somebody, well, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, I was sleeping at someone's house. They took a shit and leaped back into their bed. I, I seen them do it. No, I've never seen that, Donna. I'm not from Killarney, Ontario. I've never seen that. Just, <laughs> you must, if you said it, right? Then you must have seen it. I see you do that. I don't do that. You're dirty. No. <laughs> <laughs>